Okay, so at this point, we could start uh, recoding Hello Cody on the Hello Cody screen. We've got our About screen, but we do need to add something before we do that, which is a way to return back to this menu. Some people could just click the Back button, but it's much better to have a button dedicated for navigation back to the menu. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and go to our About screen and make a decision of where this button will be for all of my different screens. I'm going to put it in the top left hand corner. So I'm going to need a layout here that is going to be a horizontal arrangement because it's going to have the button on the left hand side. So let's rename this. Okay, so horizontal menu. That's where the menu button's going to go. So what, how big should it be? Well, we could make the height automatic, but how about if we give it, let's say, 15% of our screen? So it's going to be that big, and then the rest of this can be whatever else we need. Uh, it could be smaller, could be bigger. Um, that's up to you, but let's start with 15%. The width, of course, we're going to have it fill parent. And now we can put a button inside of it that will be aligned to the left. It's already aligned to the left, horizontal. And I usually like to do centering, but in this case, regardless of how big this is, I want the button in the top left-hand corner. That way people are used to looking there to get back. So let's go ahead and add that button. Let's go to our user interface again and add a button inside. The text for this button needs to be changed to return to menu or just menu. If we do that, then everyone will know that that needs to take us back. So what is the code for that? Well, first we're going to rename the button, button menu. So we know that's what that button does. When we go to our blocks and control, we're going to say when that button is clicked. So we're going to first button menu. When button menu is clicked, then we are going to close the screen. We don't want to open another screen because that causes a lot of trouble. So we are simply going to close the screen. And that's the extent of the button menu. Now this is something we're going to use more than once. So I'm going to put this in my backpack over here so I can get to it. Now the backpack is very useful for getting code from one screen to another. And you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here. So maybe for this year I'm ready to empty the backpack so that when I put that in there, it's just got the one thing. Now, why did I do that? Well, we're going to need that on our Hello Cody screen as well. So let me go back to about for a second, the design and see if I can just copy this horizontal menu and see if I can paste it on my Cody screen. So I'm going to control C copy and go to Hello Cody and control V paste. And sure enough, it was able to do the design. Now remember, the blocks sometimes come with it, sometimes they don't. In this case, looks like that works. So now with both of these screens, About and Hello Cody, we have a way to get back to screen one known as our menu screen. So in addition to having a way to get back to the screen, we should have a button that exits the app. That would be the elegant solution instead of forcing people to close it some other way. Now for me, I think that it should be in this opposite corner. But if we add a button here, then it is going to put it right next to the About button. Instead of putting a bunch of spaces in here, we are instead, let me delete this button, we are instead going to add another horizontal arrangement inside this horizontal arrangement. You can see it here, and we've got it here. So horizontal arrangement, I'm going to rename this because this is going to be an arrangement for the exit. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it fill the parent. So it takes up whatever room is left after the About button is shown. So you can see it here. And I've got Horizontal Exit. And inside of there, we're going to add the button. 
and it's already, if I go back to horizontal exit, set to the left, so it's always going to be on the left. And I've got the About button at the bottom of that arrangement, so I'm also going to do it right there. So this will always be in the lower left-hand corner, and this one will always be in the lower right-hand corner. And I can now change the text for this button. Rename button. Of course, I'm going to call it button exit. Change the text to exit or close. You could, you could be a little creative there. Something that tells people this is going to get you out of the app. And what's left? Well, coding it, of course. So I'm going to take this button exit, say when the button exit is clicked, and you'll notice I'm going to put this to the left and this button over to the right. Now, when I did some copying and pasting, I think I kept the second about instead of the first, so that's why it says about to. When we rename that, it'll automatically be renamed. So to exit, then for control, we're simply going to have it close the application. So now we've got a way for people to get out of the app. Let's go and rename this button about. We just need about, not about to. And again, I'll show you in the blocks, it just changed it here. So pretty smart system. And now we have a way of getting from one screen to another. And that includes our Hello Cody screen, as well as the About screen.